Hey friends, ever wondered what Iran's most powerful homegrown destroyer really looks like? Today we're stepping onto the deck of the Dena destroyer to see its hidden secrets. We'll explore everything from technical specs to its historic trip around the world in detail. Buckle up and stay with me because you won't believe this was built entirely locally. First off, you should know Dena is the fourth product of the Moj class project. It represents the absolute peak of Iranian marine engineering and naval design capability today. It has major differences from its older brothers, Jamaran and Sahand, with heavy upgrades. When we say all Iranian, we mean the hull, radars, and engines are all domestic. Let's go back a bit. Dena officially joined the Navy fleet in June 2021. Its main goal was increasing strategic depth and protecting shipping lines from pirates globally. It took about eight years to build, ensuring all systems met strict global standards. This long time frame shows the precision and extreme care put into every single component. You might ask about its size. Dena is 95 meters long and 11 meters wide. It weighs around 1,300 to 1,500 tons, placing it in the frigate class category. The hydrodynamic design allows it to maintain balance even in the stormiest of seas. Imagine such a massive structure floating like a feather in the rough Pacific Ocean. Let's look at the beating heart, the propulsion system pushing this beast forward at sea. Dena uses four powerful domestic diesel engines, each generating thousands of horsepower independently. This allows it to reach speeds over 25 knots, which is about 46 kilometers per hour. Engineers designed the transmission to have much less noise and vibration than previous models. What sets Dena apart is its advanced navigation and electronic systems, which are worth discussing. It is equipped with the Acer Phased Array Radar for tracking aerial and surface targets. This advanced tech gives the commander a 360-degree view, hiding absolutely nothing from sight. It's not just a ship, it's effectively a mobile radar station on the water. Now, let's talk about the sharp teeth of this iron shark, the weaponry on deck. On the bow sits a 76mm Fajar 27 automatic cannon with a high fire rate. It can target surface and aerial threats with extreme precision and massive destructive power. Imagine high caliber rounds firing at enemy vessels. There is zero chance of escape. The scariest weapons are the anti-ship cruise missiles capable of sinking distant enemies instantly. Dena carries four launchers for Kadir or Nor missiles with a 200 to 300 kilometer range. These missiles fly at low altitudes to stay hidden from enemy radar detection systems. Dena can strike a fatal blow from far away without the enemy even noticing. Think we're done? No. Dena is equipped with Marab missiles for vital air defense. This system combines standard missiles with modern tech to hunt down hostile jets and drones. Having air defense is vital since the biggest threats usually come from the sky. With this, Dena creates a protective umbrella for itself and nearby merchant ships safely. Another cool feature is the close-in weapon system called Command, which is highly advanced. Command is a rotary cannon firing at insane speeds to destroy incoming cruise missiles. It's the last line of defense. When all else fails, Command saves the ship. Watching it work is thrilling, like a wall of fire stopping any incoming threat. We can't forget underwater threats, and Dena is fully prepared to face them too. The destroyer is equipped with triple torpedo launchers to identify and destroy enemy submarines. Sonar systems serve as underwater ears, detecting the slightest propeller sounds in the deep. Subsurface warfare is complex, but Dena proves it is definitely not a helpless target. On the stern, there is a flight deck designed for helicopter operations day and night. This is crucial as the chopper acts as the destroyer's third eye for reconnaissance. While Dena lacks a hangar, it supports medium helicopters like the Bell 212 easily. A helicopter doubles the operational range and is vital for search and rescue missions. Engineers really emphasize the integrated battle management system implemented inside the Dena destroyer's core. All sensors, radars, and weapons connect to a central operations room for data exchange. The commander sees the entire battlefield on monitors and makes the best decisions instantly. This coordination maximizes reaction speed in combat and minimizes any potential human error risks. Let's discuss electronic warfare, which is the alpha and omega of modern naval battles. 
Dina has advanced EW systems to jam enemy radars and divert incoming hostile missiles. These systems act like an invisible shield, preventing enemies from locking onto the ship. Developing this tech domestically is a huge honor for Iran's defense industry capabilities. But friends, the biggest pride isn't just weapons, it's the historic trip around the world. Dena, with the Macron base ship, sailed 65,000 kilometers in the 86th flotilla mission. This journey took eight months, crossing the Indian Pacific and Atlantic Oceans successfully. It proved Dena could survive the roughest waters on Earth, like the Cape of Good Hope. Many Western military experts didn't believe an Iranian-made destroyer could make such a trip. Dena faced waves 10 to 15 meters high and survived massive ocean storms flawlessly. The interesting part is that it didn't suffer any major breakdowns along the long way. This mission was a massive field test proving the quality of Iranian shipbuilding globally. During this historic voyage, Dena docked in ports like Rio, Jakarta, and Cape Town. These visits showcased military power and delivered a message of peace and friendship globally. Imagine Navy personnel entering a South American port on their own ship. Pure pride. It shows sanctions couldn't stop progress, and we broke geographical boundaries completely and effectively. Let's talk about crew comfort, which is super important for long, exhausting naval missions. Since Dena is designed for long voyages, living facilities are much better than before. Air conditioning, equipped kitchens, and cabins make eight months at sea bearable for everyone. Crew morale affects combat performance, so Dena provides a relatively comfortable environment for them. A key technical point is the ship's stability managed by stabilizer fin systems underneath. These fins under the hull drastically reduce rolling motion during heavy wave conditions. This prevents seasickness for the crew and maintains high weapon accuracy in bad storms. Installing and calibrating these systems require high tech, executed perfectly in the Dena project. You might ask what's the main difference between Dena and the older Jamaran class? The main differences are in the propulsion system and the electronic warfare suite upgrades. Dena uses a domestic engine system that is more agile and easier to maintain. The hull and masts were tweaked to reduce radar cross-section and avoid detection. The goal of building Dena is achieving a strategic navy, emphasized by Iran's leadership. A strategic navy isn't limited to its shores, it defends interests anywhere globally. With the 360-degree mission, Dena proved Iran is now a true ocean-going naval power. If an oil tanker is threatened worldwide, Dena can arrive to protect it immediately.